Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's me, Scott Dog. How are we doing? Hope we're doing well. Um, we're going to play some some Football Manager. Uh, it's been a, a little while since we played. Um, I say that with every video I start, really. Uh, but it is uh, a little while since we played. Uh, last season, I started a Kaiser Slout and save, uh, and stopped that Kaiser Slout and save fairly quickly after we started. I just wasn't really feeling it. Um, and so, therefore, we, we thought we'd give this a, a whole new go and see how see how we get on. Um, we are streaming as well. Hello. Um, if you want to come and check out one of the live streams, if this is uh, you watching on YouTube, if you want to come and check out the live streams, uh, please head over to Twitch uh, slash Scott Dog Gaming and uh, hit the follow button. You'll be notified of, of when we're going live. Um, I plan on doing this most weekends uh, and potentially some evenings. Uh, I don't know exactly what. And actually, just to, to, to be clear, I probably plan on streaming some of this uh for for an hour or two and then splitting it into some fifa uh, and playing some of that i've been playing a little bit of it i've been playing a a series that's due to come out on the channel fairly soon which is uh a be a pro series um which i'm having some fun with uh, but i've also been playing some ultimate team i don't know how much of that i'll play online because i get quite salty quite quickly um but we'll uh you know if we if we uh if you want to see that, you'll have to let me know. But uh, yeah, we'll play a few hours of this, a couple of hours of this, and then we'll switch it up. Uh, just to be clear, today uh, I'm off to watch the Liverpool Man United game. I'm not going. Uh, I'm off to watch the Liverpool Man United game. Uh, so you know, we'll we'll be we'll be cutting there, if not a little bit before. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll just have a bit of a chilled out, uh, chilled out little stream. I think we'll just see how it goes. Hopefully, audio is all good with me talking and. Uh, and everything else. So let's just uh, let's just check that very quickly. Bear with me. From what I can tell, we sound well, apart from me, obviously, but we sound all right. <laughs> we sound all right. We have got some of the game sounds on as well. Um, so let's talk a little bit. Sorry, let's talk a little bit about what we're doing in this football manager uh, and how we're how we're planning on on playing it. Uh, so we have started with a uh, an unemployed an unemployed me. Uh, here we are. This is this is me uh, up here. We can t take a little look at us. We look pretty cool, right? I do wonder why. I do wonder why in all of the football managers, this whole character creator is dire. You know, I mean, I appreciate that you don't really see them in the game, right? I do appreciate that, but but look at it. It's like it's it's. <laughs> It's so so bad, but I love it. I do love it. This is me. Um, so this is this is us. Um, this is our football manager. Let's discard and exit this. And what you can see here is we've started with no coaching uh, badges, no qualifications. We uh, our, our history in football is that we were a Sunday league footballer, a terrible one. Uh, and um, and this is us starting our new career. We're hoping somebody will take a chance on us. We're hoping that somewhere. Somewhere, somewhere down the line, someone's going to say, you know what, we really fancy having a complete noob in the job, uh, and that will be that will be me. Um, the other thing I've done, to begin with, I have put a shed load of leagues on. Um, so we're just going to see how that goes. Um, but we're playing in all sorts of, all sort of potentially playing in all sorts of leagues. Uh, so if I come up over here and we go to add remove leagues, you can see... The start of the game is going to be really slow, right? And when we get a job, it might change slightly, but the start of the game is going to be really slow. This is the estimated game speed. Um, but that's because we've got Austria, Belgium, Denmark, England, Finland, France, Germany, Holland, Iceland, Republic of Ireland. You can read Republic of Ireland, Israel, Italy, Northern Ireland, Norway, Portugal, Scotland, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, United States, and Wales. Some of these we've got every league in. Some of these we've we've got we've got less leagues in. Uh, the plan will be we'll start this once we know where we're going to be managing if we're managing anywhere we'll then reduce this by a little bit so we've uh, so we've got a little bit of uh, a little bit more speed in the processing and then if we uh, are looking for a new job or we become un unemployed again which there's a strong possibility we'll add some more back in uh, and we'll just keep doing that until we uh, until we you know we find the right balance that's the plan but I didn't want to restrict where we could start based on the fact that Originally, when I thought about this, I thought we'll just have England, Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland, Spain, uh, Scotland and, and Wales. And we'll keep it as the UK. But I just I thought, you know, there's a lot of clubs in here. And over the over the years, um, obviously, 
sort of European football, certainly in, in, in my heart, but most football has become much more accessible because of, of social media and all the rest of those things. So, you know, it just feels like, you know, teams like you would never have considered managing in Austria, but because of some of the teams in Austria doing so well in Champions League and producing top talent, uh, or at least acquiring top talent and developing it and then them moving on, um, you know, that, that feels like it's a reasonable place to go. Finland I put in for a giggle, let's be honest. No one cool has ever come from Finland apart from Yari Lippmanen. Um, so uh, if Nick ever sees that, he'll go mad. Um, right, so this is the this is the plan. Um, I hope you're here for the long ride, um, but uh, if you can't watch all of the stream, uh, then these will be going up on YouTube, so please head over to the uh, the YouTube channel and just hit subscribe over there. Um, but uh, here we go, let's, uh, let's get started, shall we? Um, let's head over to the job center. Uh, I've only ever been to the job center twice in my life uh, and it was it wasn't the best place to be. I'm not going to lie, it wasn't fun. Um, but uh, this one, you know, if the job center was was potentially offering you jobs in football clubs, I might be more inclined to go uh, if I needed to, right? So we've got a few people who are potentially looking for people. One thing that was quite interesting, I started a test thing uh, on this just to see how it would go. And um, I don't know if I can show you this. Uh, if I go back to this, I don't think I can go to the coaching badges anymore, but I don't think I can show you that part. But in the coaching badges, uh, these bits, um, these bits over here where it says your, uh, you know, what your your reputation is in the Sunday League footballer, you can you can expand that, you can improve that. So you could, you know, you could be a, a well known a well known footballer. You could have been an international footballer, for example. We didn't do that. We started with Sunday League footballer. Um, but one thing is it said expected qualifications for and then it said the uh, it said the Premier League and I don't quite know what that was about but then when I started a game just to, to test it all out make sure uh, the game was running okay and so on and so forth uh, Newcastle came along and offered me an interview for the job I don't know if that's because their owners know very little about football or uh, you know if they just thought well he's, he's, we need a manager he's unemployed let's give him a go uh, I didn't get the job I ended up in Wales but I just, that might happen and I don't know how to stop that. I don't quite understand. There's no tool tip or anything about it. I searched on the internet for what that means. Couldn't find anything useful. Um, so there we go. Let's get back to the job center. Now, my favorite thing and one thing that I'm really tempted to do uh, is come and try and get a job down here at Middle Fart. Um, Middle Fart seems like a very apt place for us to start. Uh, the Danish uh, second division team Middle Fart here um they're in the north in northern europe we kind of knew that they were founded in 2015 interesting i wonder what the history is behind middle fart um they uh they have some rivals down here no upper fart or lower fart or anything like that just uh just that torben molby over here is the manager is is an icon as a manager um 213 season ticket holders i like it uh, so we could we could potentially go out and Put ourselves available for some of these jobs there's also these ones down here in america i don't think we're going to get an american job uh, but it'd be nice if I, I don't really know about the american league structure i don't know if underneath this there is a another you know another league i know they can't get promoted but i'm assuming there must be other leagues other than the mls where teams are playing is that a thing a bit like the college football setup i know you can't get promoted and relegated in 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 america but i wonder if if there's other teams that aren't ever going to make it to the MLS but do play in a in a championship style league, you know something something slightly uh, slightly below the MLS, um, and then I presume they're expanding the MLS with with uh, with sort of new franchises as and when they pop up. Okay, so where do we want to start? I don't know if we want to start in Wales or in Northern Ireland. If I'm honest, uh, both of those seem like a uh, both of those seem like a little bit too far fetched for us. We've got. A Spanish first division club. They are never going to want us. We do have a Finnish team here. And I'm intrigued by a Finnish team. I'm not going to lie. They are in the Finnish Premier League. I don't know if there's leagues under... Well, there must be. There's a relegation here. So there must be leagues underneath this. Um, okay. There's only 12 teams in Finland. And they're halfway through a season. The team we would manage would be in 11th place. Interesting. Interesting. I forgot that obviously some leagues will be mid mid this season essentially some i guess will be coming to the ends of their season we do have some icelandic teams as well a couple of french national leagues and league two um you know what i think i'm going to go for an interview i think i'm going to go for an interview at uh at middle fart 
Uh, what about English clubs? We know Newcastle is a, wa is a waste of time for us, but what about Newport, uh, Carlisle, Southend or Barnet? These two are in League 2, so they're never going to want us, but but uh, Barnet and Southend could be a shout. Maybe we'll go. Let's go for an interview at Middlefart just to get the ball rolling, right? We'll uh, we'll put ourselves on the line. I'm going to be honest. I can't really remember how to play the game. Um, so some things will some things will come back to me. Some things I'll need some help with. But we're going to apply for the job at Middlefart for the laughs, right? But we're also going to come down here and apply for potentially the job at Southend. Um, 3,650 season tickets holders. They're all going to be disappointed if we get the job. Now, is there any other is there any other roles that we want to apply for here? Don't think we want to go to Israel for football. Not that I've got anything against Israel, but you know, I just finding our feet early on is important in this unemployed run. Right, is getting a little bit of reputation built. So if it doesn't work, we can go elsewhere. What about Nancy? What's not to like about Nancy? Five thousand seven hundred season ticket holders. Um, how are they? How are they situated over here? We could try. They've got a synthetic grass mix pitch. I like that. Um, less. Less. Oh, we can't. Is there something going on with Nancy that I don't know about? I can't apply for a job over here. Here we go. I can do it this way. Okay, we'll put in an interview over here. I would imagine a lot of people are going to be disappointed that we are trying to get <laughs> multiple jobs in multiple places at once. Uh, and I do know that this is going to take quite a while, but this is how we start. We've applied for free jobs. Let's see if anyone actually comes to us. That would be quite nice. I'd like to feel that someone wants to offer us a job rather than we're going out trying to desperately get them to uh, to, to hire us. Um, but we've got no reputation, so why would they come to us? It's basically just me sitting in my bedroom playing football manager, uh, trying to get an actual real football manager's job. Okay. We have some news, not good news from those things. We uh, we offered, we applied for Nancy and Southend and Middlefart. Uh, we got an interview for Newcastle. We'll go and do it. It's good practice, right, for us. It's good practice for us. I wonder why this is all looking so blurry. It's surely not meant to look this blurry, is it? Is it? I mean, the text and everything else looks okay, but the image looks looks a bit a bit rough around the edges. I mean, it is beta, but maybe that's just something, a setting that I haven't got set up. Okay, it's great to be here. Let's get started. We understand the importance of having the right backroom team in place when a manager moves into a new club. So we're willing to allow you to request any changes you would like to make to our current backroom team. What sort of budget would you be looking? Uh, I have to have a complete overhaul of the backroom staff. Yes. Is our current vision for the future? Would you be, would be keen to hear your thoughts? Sign high reputation players. Five-year plan, grow grow the reputation, increase commercial revenue, work within a budget, end of the current season, finish top half, quarterfinal of the FA Cup, quarterfinal of the Carabao Cup, end of 22-23, qualify for Europe. I think that all sounds fun, right? Should you be hired, the expectation is for the club to finish in the top half of the table. Is that fair or do you think you can improve on that? Um, I think that's a fair target. We don't want to aim and promise too much and not deliver, right, on the job that we're not going to get. Um, we're currently thinking of giving you a transfer budget of 200 million. Um, slightly bigger. Uh, we're giving you a wage budget of, holy crap, um, slightly bigger. Yeah, it's a big task, right? <laughs> Do you have anything for us to consider that would give you even more confidence in making you our new manager? Um, uh, youth facilities. We believe that improving the youth facilities is fair. Uh, request. Okay, I have no further requests, just that. Uh, this concludes the interview. You know what? It's been my absolute pleasure. Uh, our application for Southend was unemployed, uh, unsuccessful. Our application for Nancy was unsuccessful. Our application for Middlefart was unsuccessful. That is devastating news. And uh, we've got this fellow who wants to come and do an interview with us, Scott Taylor over here. What would you like to ask us? Are you open to working abroad? I've always been keen to take on a job in a different country. I mean, not that keen, but, you know, keen-ish. Okay, so our first three picks are out the window. Southend don't want us, so I'm going to guess that Barnet don't want us. I mean, to be fair, they've got, they had Phil Brown over here. They had some reasonable managers uh, in the in the list of what they wanted to do. What about, what about an under-21s? 
How about like Greece under 21s or Hungary under 21s? Hungary have got some okay players coming through. Maybe, maybe something like that. Turkey under 19s. I mean, we could go down that road. Let's not go there yet. I'm going to let a week go by and see if anyone comes in and wants us. I mean, no one wants us. This could be a, a real slow one to begin with, uh, based on the fact that I was really hoping that a club like Middle Fart would take us. Um, but uh, not interested. Just not interested. Uh, do you reckon that's because if I, they knew if they got me in for an interview, I wouldn't be able to have kept a straight face. I'd have been chuckling away to myself. Right, okay. Let's see if anyone comes along. Um, again, this is going to process pretty slowly just simply because of the number of leagues we've got going on. Uh, but we will we will rejig that once we get started. Obviously, we want to keep some of the standard leagues in, but you know we won't need all of them. That being said, if we take a job in Scandinavia, we'd probably want to keep those Scandinavian leagues in. Uh, but maybe we'll get rid of some of the the, the high level Spain, Scotland, you know, Scotland, those sort of, those sorts of leagues until we're until we're looking for new jobs. We're into uh, July, and obviously, bear in mind that some of these leagues, whilst we sit here thinking. Should we apply for these jobs? They're progressing. They're they're moving along. We've got 30 pieces of news. Uh, Brand have hired a new manager. Um, lots of new managers coming in. Middlefar, Hansen. Hansen, who are you, Hansen? What makes you think, yeah, you're considerably better than me? I take it all back. Look at Hansen, he's great. Jeez. We're never going to get a job. Okay. Um, a lot of people returning to their old jobs. That's a bit of an interesting one. Uh, blind. Okay, more news. None of it. None of it offering offering us a job. I notice. Uh, sacked by Norbury. Okay, Magnuson sacked by Landskrona. Um, lots of sacks going on as well. I like that. Okay, what does that mean at the job center? Let's go and look at the new jobs. Lilani Town. That's where I ended up. That's where I That's where I was. Lalani uh, is where I ended up in my little test run. Uh, I'm going to avoid Lalani for the time being. Norbury, I'm going to guess you don't want me. Right, but I think we might apply for Norbury. Uh, and we'll also apply for Landskrona. We could apply for all of them. I don't think that's the wisest move. What about Hag Hagsund? What do we know about Hagsund? 3,478 fans in season ticket holders. Um, they're currently 16th in the league. Bottom of the league with nine points from 14 games. They need some fresh blood, right? They need someone with new ideas coming in and, and trying to get them off the bottom of the league. Um, okay, there's that one done. Is there any others that we want to put in here? What about KA in Iceland? I mean, they're in the Premier League. Doesn't I know it's not, you know, it's Iceland, but it doesn't feel like we're going to be... doesn't feel like we're going to be uh, in that... In that... What the hell is happening here? <laughs> in that... Um, that kind of place. I mean, in 10 games here, 12 games in, uh, you play more than everyone else in your bottom of the league. That is not ideal you obviously um mp what do we know about mp down the bottom here bottom of the league 15 games in uh i'm gonna reply for mp as well i like a challenge uh okay there you go two jobs applied for let's keep going uh we're just gonna have news telling us that we've applied for those jobs so let's keep cracking on i guess see if we uh see if we hear anything back be nice to get an interview uh, rather than just newcastle uh, there's our two applications received Let's keep going. I'm intrigued to find out what some of the new stuff is in in some of the, in the game. Um, you know, from what I from what I know, um, you know, there's there's a reasonable amount of of new stuff, but it looks like it's lots of small things making up bigger parts. Uh, Lilani Town, they've they're looking for a uh, a manager. You know what? Because I did it in the trial, I don't want to go to it in the uh, in the actual one. So. It could be a mistake. No one else would want us, but it, but we're going to bypass that for now and uh, and see what happens next up. Let's keep going. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a work for the long haul here, I think, where we're going to have to wait. It's 
nice to see 54 million pound offers going in while you're unemployed thanks for that appreciate it okay Brighton and Hove Albion and Real Madrid want Cedric from Arsenal that's a that's an intriguing intriguing duo coming in for one player Inter Miami job might be available it could go work for David Beckham This is taking so long just to get through an individual day. I love it. Okay. Let's keep going. It would be nice to get into a club and get the first game under our belts, really. Um, you know, so we could cross that off the list. That would be nice. KFUM Oslo. Norwegian First Division. There's a there's a team we want to we want to sign up for, right? I, I didn't really think about this. I just assumed that after that first batch of manager jobs would go, you'd have to sit there and wait because all of them would be taken. But obviously, because other leagues are mid-season, there's there's manager jobs becoming available all of the time. I just assumed, you know, you'd, there'd be a clamber for a job right at the beginning because, you know, in England, obviously every team pretty much starts the season with a manager. You don't want to be going into the first game of the season without. Okay, let's have a little look. New hires for some managers here. Our MP job application was un was unsuccessful. Southend has gone. Sacked by Tromso. Okay. No interviews just yet, but there are some... Oh, it doesn't look like there's much. They're Grotta over here. What are Grotta doing? They're ninth. Um... Grotta down here. I don't think they're going to want us, quite honestly. Who else have we got? Millwall in the championship. They're definitely... What about Dover? Dover have got to want us, right? We've got to be okay for Dover. Come on, Dover. Um, that's not to say that Dover are, are bad, but uh, let's also go San Jose. We know that's not going to happen, but let's go for it. Um, it'd be nice if you could, whilst you're doing this, go and apply yourself for like coaching courses to get, develop your own character right because normally you have to request the board it'd be nice if you could go and pay for yourself you know get a loan and pay for yourself to go out on uh, on a training course i'm gonna just because you've sacked someone i'm gonna go for you uh, and i'm also gonna go for you um we're just applying for all of them right okay let's uh let's keep going we're never gonna get a job this is this is like real life rubbish not true i have a job that i don't like doing um okay let's um let's see how we do i mean we've still got hopes on the newcastle job right we haven't heard from them to say no so i mean they might want to just take a chance can you imagine if we started unemployed with no coaching badges and the uh the um oh shit i didn't mean to do that now we've declared our interest in the L in the lalani town job um I don't want to talk about it. I made a mistake. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting if Newcastle came along and said, yeah, we'll take you. Um, we know you don't know what you're doing, but we'll take you. We don't really know what we're doing either. Um, you know, we'll just work it out as we go. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. I think, our, especially since we went into that interview and said, well, no, we want more money for everything. Actually, we want more coaches. We want more. Uh, we want more wages. We want more transfer budget. Right. Cedric has decided on, on uh, Real Madrid, we see here. Fair enough. New York uh, FC might be up for... Uh, uh, might be available. It's another job we can apply for and, and, and be declined instantly. That would be nice. Come on now. Chelsea tie up 28, deal, 28 million pounds for Martial. That's an interesting one. Don't feel like that's a player that Chelsea would need or want. Uh, KA we're not going to. Uh, everyone's hiring people that they've had before. Where's the fun in that? What's going on? Why wouldn't you go out and try and hire a new up-and-coming manager with, with passion and desire? Um, I mean, in football terms, you know. This could this could take a little while. <laughs> I didn't think I didn't think that we would be uh, we would be struggling this hard 
to find a job. I genuinely didn't. I thought we might be, I thought we might be slightly better than this, but I guess that's what happens when you try and get a job in any, uh, in any area. Um, yeah, they're not going to want us, right? Let's just have a quick look at the job center. Is there anything new here? Will is down here in Switzerland. Interesting. Let's give let's give that a go. No one's heard of us in Switzerland as well, so we can you know, pretend we haven't applied for every job. Uh, we'll apply for you in Finland because you've got to want someone new and up and coming. Lilani Town is still here. That's the only job that genuinely I think I could actually get. Not in real life, you know, but in, I mean, if I went and applied for it, I think I might be able to get it. But I, I don't know if I, I don't want to go there just simply because we've tried before. Newcastle are really thinking about their new manager. What's interesting, I don't, I don't know what date we started on, but I don't think too far has gone. I don't think we've gone really far into this as it goes. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Oh my goodness. Dover are willing to accept our, our, uh, our application for an interview. They're in the Vanarama National League. Um, let's have a little look at them. 6,500 capacity stadium, 500 season ticket holders. They've been around since 1983. Um, they're known as the Whites. What have they done here? They've been National League. They went down all the way down to the League 8 of the uh, of the pyramid. Then came back up in a in a flurry over three over two seasons. Um, then recently in 13, 14 got promoted to this and they're hovering around. They finished 23rd last year. Um, how did they, or is this, oh, did you see that? Why have they got a 12 points deducted for forfeiting match? Holy crap. Is there many of those, I wonder? Is there anyone else with those? Derby administration. That wouldn't have been a horrendous one to do, I don't think. Uh, job interview. Let's go and do it and let's take this one seriously. Um, we're glad you come to discuss our plans and for your club vision or for the club's vision. It's great to be here. Let's get started. Um, can you explain why you appear to be in the running? I'm exploring my options. I'm doing whatever I can to keep progressing. Um, I admit it doesn't look good. Um, no, I'm doing whatever I can to keep progressing. I'm determined, right? That's what I'm showing them there. You know, I want to get working. I don't want to sit at home on the on the on the job seekers what sort of budget are you anticipating um for the backroom staff i'd like the budget to be in place for me to make a fair amount of changes i require quite a small budget to allow me to make some modifications i don't know who's in there you know we we don't have a backroom staff that we want to bring with us do you have any thoughts on the long-term vision sign players under the age of 23 i think that's fine but the problem is is unless you've got reasonable youth facilities um developing younger players isn't great you know, work within a wage budget. We can understand that. Well, minimum one-year contracts for players age of the over, over over the age of 32. We can handle that. A fight bravely against the relegation this season. Well, we'd have to do that. We're 12 points behind everyone else before we start. Uh, FA Cup, be competitive. FA Trophy, be competitive. Uh, continue remaining in the... Yeah, so you just want us to survive, basically. Uh, okay, it looks like there's an exciting future. I, I mean, I... This doesn't. This strikes me that I'm being. I'm taking the piss, right? I'm being sarcastic. Looks like we've got a survive, a, an exciting future. Just surviving. Um, but if I change it, then I've got to try and live up to those. Okay, here, this one. No, this one. How do I? How do I change these? Oh crap! Oh no! What have I done? Um, I'm going to try one more time, but I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, Add a competition objective. End of 25-26 league. Let's try that. I don't know what I actually just did then. <coughs> okay. Uh, if we hired you, we'd expect you a battle against relegation. Um, if given the job, I aim to meet that expectation. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to go ahead, ask to go ahead? Well, we haven't spoken about budget, but I'm guessing that's zero. Um, we don't, we can't ask for anything at this moment in time. I mean, I've got desires, but we can't ask for those things. Uh, unsuccessful application for Will, that's disappointing. But we did get an interview and hopefully in that interview we showed that, yeah, we know that Dover are in a, in a, in a rubbish place at the moment. 
you know, 12 points behind everyone else before a game's been played isn't great. But, but we believe, we believe that in our own ability that we can turn Dover into a, a reasonable National League team in five years. <laughs> when I think, when I say that out loud, it doesn't feel like we've got huge, uh, huge optimism in the job that we can do. But you have to start somewhere, right? That's the key thing. You have to start somewhere. Let's see how we go. Obviously, as I say, this will speed up once we've got a club because we'll get rid of all of the all of the other leagues for a bit and focus on just the leagues that we're in and a couple of others. Um, and that will speed up the uh, the progression here. And obviously, if we're in Dover, we're not going to be able to sign any any international players, really. Um, there'll be there'll be people who are in and around uh, the leagues that we're in, um, you know, and see how that goes. OK, come on, Dover. You know you want to give us a job. Portland job unsuccessful. Uh, other people being sacked. I guess we should just have a quick look at this. Um, we've applied for a lot. We don't want to apply for any more, really. None of these are, none of these are ones that we'll we'll go for. Let's see how we get on with Dover. Don't know a lot about Dover. I'm not going to lie. Um, our applications were unsuccessful. Unsuccessful. The board were willing to accept the following changes, league expectations and wage budget. Brendan Rodgers' manager, they've chosen to take the club forward. Wow. So Leicester have a role, right? Hold on. Leicester are down here. You know what? Leicester. Let me prove Let me prove Newcastle wrong, Leicester. Um, okay, let's keep going. Okay, Leicester job application received. Nice. Could still be hope. Dover are really thinking about it. Dover are considering us as their new manager. Very exciting stuff. Um, I have to say, I... Being old, right? I'm quite old. Um, being old, I struggle a little bit with reading some of the text on the screen. Um, but I think I think some of it is is like basically how far I'm sitting away from the screen. Additionally, my screen is in front of a window, so anything around the outside edges of the screen that all kind of merges into one. It's not great. Our Leicester application was unsuccessful. That's unfortunate. I haven't heard anything about Dover yet, though. They haven't replaced uh, they haven't replaced their outgoing manager with anyone, so. I'm going to guess, we haven't looked at the Dover squad. I'm going to guess if we go look at the Dover squad. I don't want to do it because I don't want to get my hopes up. But I'm going to guess if we go look at the Dover squad, we're going to realise that every single one of their players is like 18 or under. Basically because they've had to get rid of anyone they're paying any money to. Uh, oh, come on. Heartbroken. Heartbroken. They didn't like the fact that I was ambitious. That is devastating news. What have you got to offer, Yates? Yeah, you're better than us. Okay. Okay, good. Right. We need to go and find another job. This is devastating news. I just I just assumed that someone would have us. Man. Okay. Job center. We're off back down to job center. This list is getting shorter by the minute. Uh, Lalani is still there waiting for us. Um, I can't do it. I can't do it. Let's just... You know what? Fine. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. We'll apply for all of them. Okay, let's get going. We might hear something back, right? I, it, Lalani, we're going to decline their interview. I just don't want to go there. But everyone else will try. We're, we're, we're getting desperate. We are getting desperate. What's going to happen is we're going to end up at a team that's probably more than 12 points behind at the bottom of the league in mid-season. So we've got even less time to turn it around than, than Dover, um, which is a bit disappointing. Okay, our application for Lalani has been put in. Unsuccessful for a few more. Um, we'll keep an eye on this. I think every job here we've applied for. Okay, good. 
we keep going. Maybe, uh, maybe one day we'll get a job. Carius getting a £2.4 million offer. And Joel Linton straight out of the door as soon as Rogers comes in. Interesting. Um, 4.7 million for Joel Linton, a striker who can't score a goal. That's that's interesting. I bet when Joel Linton goes somewhere else, I bet he'll do all right. You know, I get the feeling once he arrives somewhere, he's going to be he's going to be all right. I think he'll he'll start scoring goals. But Newcastle has been tough on. And actually, what I would say about Joel Linton is the times I've seen him play, he does look like he gives his all a lot of the time. Not maybe all of the time. You know, I wouldn't put him in the same Bobby Firmino style. You know, put yourself about but he does look like but I guess you have to do that if you're not scoring any goals you really have to put yourself about interim manager I guess that's because you're just waiting for us right um everything else is applied for here we just keep going we just keep going okay okay here we go here we go Brady Breda Blick. Breda Breda Blick. Okay. No idea what the next word says. Um, okay. They are in the Premier League. They're not going to want us in a million years, right? They're eighth in the league. Let's keep going. They're never going to have us. I like this. This is like... Uh, I did think about doing the old Ted Lasso start. I will say that. Um, I like this. This is basically um, basically Trent Trent Krim, right? From the Independent. Um, okay, FF Jaro. There's a role for us if ever there was one. Okay, finished job. They've got to be. They've got to be looking for a young up and coming manager in Finland, right? Right. Let's keep going. I'm devastated. I should have just left it how it was at Do Dover because I thought Dover would have been a great start for us, you know, going in there, having no money, having no players, having a 12-point deduction and trying to learn the game whilst whilst spin spin that round and get us uh, get us there. Let's uh, let's have a little look at Dover. Um cuz I do want to have a look at their players. Um The oldest player is 34. Okay, so they have got some players. What kind of 500 pound a week? So they are playing people as well. That's interesting. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they how they do. I just assumed a bit like Derby when Derby were really struggling to put a team out, and they they forfeited a match. I wonder if Derby was the, sorry Dover was the one where there was the, there was someone in charge and he wouldn't sell it, uh, and he kept maybe picking the team himself. I'm not 100% sure if that's true or if I'm making that up. Um, okay. There is a new job in the list. The Finnish Premier League. 12th in the Finnish Premier League. This is the one for us, right? Bottom of the league. Only two points off. This is the one for us. I can tell FC Lati is the one for us. Boom. Come and get me, FC Lati. I'm all yours. I'm ready to go. I am so ready to go. Okay. I wonder if it will be like, I wonder if it will be like six years in before we actually get a job. Application received. This is the one we want now, right? This is our new one. FC Lati in Finland. Sounds like a fun one to me. Although middle fart still sounded like a funnier one. Devastated we didn't get the role at middle fart. Maybe one day. Come on. Right, I've learned from that interview. I'm not changing anything in that interview. I'm just letting it happen. Uh, we've got an interview at Lalani. Bear in mind, we don't want it. I'm just going to go in there and rock the boat a bit. Um, right now, it's nobody else's business but mine. Uh, you do a better job of maintaining uh, maintaining a good respectfully i don't consider it very important whether i'm not or not i'm successful in this area we don't want a repeat of our last manager i want to focus on myself oh my god 
That all seems perfectly acceptable. Should you be hired? I basically applied for this job in error and don't want it. Can you, I'd love, you know what I'd love to do? You know how you get those sort of TV programs where, uh, you know, the sort of mock interviews and stuff. And, and you know, I'd love to have an actual TV program where someone goes in for actual real interviews and just messes around, you know? says so that a bit like Ali G interviewing those uh, interviewing politicians and stuff but just kind of pushes the boundary of everything that's said to them I mean I think it'll be a pretty short series but I think it would be funny um if given the job I'll be able to meet the proposed um yeah we're just gonna do that if I don't expect to provide much larger wage budget uh, I have no request to approve <laughs> right okay I think we've successfully managed to avoid what what Jesus. Um, Oscar Clark, let's have a little interview with you. Are you willing to speak about your recent interview? Um, I'm ready to... Everyone's ambitious. Um, I'm not prepared to discuss my reasoning in public at the moment. There you go. Thanks, Oscar. Appreciate it. <laughs> we're, like an, we're an absolute arsehole. I love it. Okay. I like the idea that you have to go to an interview for a job that you really don't want to do because you accidentally applied for it. Oh, man. I haven't done an interview in years. Um, I was never very good at them. Uh, I remember a few. I remember um, I used to be an estate agent, a really bad estate agent, right? Not one of not one of the horrible ones, just a really rubbish one because I couldn't lie very well. Um, and I, I, the estate agent I worked for um, went went into liquidation. Uh, I don't think it was my fault, but you know, uh, but a different estate agent who I knew and I'd worked with for quite a while. You know, everybody in the in this sort of industry knows each other. Um, they asked if I wanted to go in for an interview and I'm like, okay, well, I'll go in. And then they, they, they took me to this little, weird little room upstairs and they're like, we want to role play you evaluating, valuing a house. And I'm like, I've literally been to houses and got them on the market that you haven't managed to get on the market. How, how is this a thing? And they're like, you know, it's what we do with any, every interview. I'm like, you know, I can do the job. Uh, I think I'll pass. And I kind of walked out leading myself out of the room I'm just like I'm not going to jump through hoops to get a job that I don't really want to do anymore um, especially when someone else knows that I can do the job so we didn't get the uh, K Foom job um, someone else has been sacked which is great news we didn't get the Lati job oh no who are who are F, FF Jaro we've applied for that one who are um, Asasani Asani in Norway, found in 1971. I think we're coming for your job, right? We are all over your job. Give us a job. Give us a job right now. Uh, okay, any job will do. I, it's a bit of a shame that you can't apply for like coaches jobs and stuff. I think that would be quite fun. If you could be like the director of football at a football club, I think that would be quite cool. What is happening? What is this? I went to this interview purposely saying... I don't want your job. Right, and they've come to us saying, we'll give you a job. What is that all about? Start negotiations. I want lots of money, please. Um, and you can have no compensation. How about that? And I'd like to only be here for three months. <laughs> I don't want the job. Ah. Uh, no, 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 no. You don't understand. I'm worth more than this. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, good. Um, very insecure jobs over here in Norway. Okay, let's uh, let's keep going. Um, as I say, the reason we turned down Lalani, not because I've got a problem with Lalani, just simply because in my trial game, that's where we went. Um, and I didn't play very much of it, but I don't want to go back there. So I'm sure it's a lovely place. Um, but I, uh, yeah, I started there in the trial game and, um, you know, there's, there's a whole world out there of, of football clubs who need terrible managers and I can fill that role. Simple as. Okay, let's keep going. Hopefully, hopefully a small club will sack their manager thinking there's got to be someone better cheaper out there that we can uh, that we can hire that's what we need right now we need someone to really take the risk on us oh 
other than that it's just going to be us looking at this screen for the next three hours so let's hope this comes along and and starts this is a problem i think you know i don't think we need to be looking at jobs in the norwegian premier league we need to be looking at jobs in like the norwegian fourth division uh, that's what we should be that's what we should be looking for and the bigger problem is the jobs in england are all going to be full before the start of the season so if we wanted a job in any of the uk uh sort of areas the chances are they're going to be gone for the next three or four months of the season because of that um okay are there any new jobs on here i don't think so we still haven't heard from uh from some of these so that's that's relatively good news right uh leicester haven't have told us they don't want us but they might come back right we can always have that hope that leicester might reappear and say you know what we were wrong the first time round. we said we didn't want you but we actually do could be that that's the uh that's the issue okay let's keep going i'm still still devastated oh, we've got a job offer at grotta let's have a little look at grotta um these guys grotta um they are in iceland they're in the first division they're currently fifth in the first division and as you can see they're 16 games in not a million miles away from from promotion but i don't know how many games they play in a season um 191 season ticket holders the average season ticket price is 70 pounds um the average ticket price is nine pounds uh, synthetic new type soft i like that um they have no derbies and no fierce rivals what does that mean they've got a hell of a lot of icons look at all these people do i know any of them i don't think so i don't think we know of any of these people okay well i think you know um Let's go and do our interview. We're not going to we're not going to change anything in this interview. Uh, it's great to be here. Let's get started. Are you worried about not being able to speak the language? Um, I can learn the language in time. Is it? It's a relatively easy language. Is Icelandic a relatively easy language to pick up? Why would I go into an interview? And go. Ah, oh, no, I could. I could do that. I just haven't been bothered to learn Icelandic before, but now I'm here. I will. No, I don't think it's. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you explain uh, why you appear to be in the running for a few jobs right now i just want to get started i just want to get started that's all um are you willing to assure us that you do a better job of maintaining a good dressing room i can promise you i will cultivate a healthy dressing room atmosphere that's probably not true uh the club is looking to hire a manager comfortable with working limited resources um i know i'll be able to look after the club's finances given the if given the job are you the right manager to take us to the next level i believe i have a reputation no I know I can get the job done. Whoever gets the job doesn't need to make changes to the team. Um, I know. I reckon a lot of people saw that coming. No, I know I can get the job done. Would you be able to take charge straight away or at a later date? I'm ready as soon as you need me. What kind of what? No, well, I guess they could have got an interim manager for the first season. As part of the recruitment policy uh, process, we are willing to allow you to request changes. I hope to have. Um, I don't expect to make wholesale changes, so probably you only need a small budget. Uh, here's the next current vision let's have a look at it work within a wage budget uh first end of the season not judging nice league cup not important nice gain automatic promotion that is some big um, objectives here looks like an exciting future uh that's fine what's next uh, we aren't in the position to set any expectations for your next me for the current season we lay it out in the uh, next season if you're appointed that's fine what's next do you have anything for us to consider no we're good um that covers it thanks very much i think that one went flawlessly right we're definitely in let's do the interview with ingi poor jensen um yes i'm here for your interview do you have anything to say in public uh i'm ready to take the next step in my career and i've been acting accordingly everyone's ambitious uh look at the likes of pep guardiola and think that could be me one day um no um i'm ready to take the next step in my career so thanks very much for the interview you're just gonna ask one question that's fine okay good um let's see how we let's see how we do this could be the one grotto grotto could be our first club what's the bet what's the bet that we take a job and instantly a job that's more appealing comes up if we get offered it um 
Honkaravara. Honkaravara. <sighs> Sacked by SJ, SJK. Um, what is a what is a Honkaravara? Um, SJK. Another Finnish team. Fifth in the Prem. What is happening? This is the league above us, right? No, this is Iceland. <laughs> what am I talking about? Such an idiot. Okay. Um, I was like, why can't I see Grow? That's because it's a completely different country, you moron. Okay. I'm not going to apply for any more until we know what happens with Grotto. Um, your weekly job updates. Gattuso. Lester, I thought you were waiting. I thought you were just playing it cool. I thought you were waiting for me, but nope. Bloody Gattuso. What does he know? Right, okay. You assume Grotto must know that this is like a stepping stone for me, you know, an ambitious manager like myself. You would you would assume they know that this is just this is just the beginning and I'm I'm you know, I'm hoping to uh, to sort of cut my trade in Iceland before I move on to bigger and better things, right? They must know that. Um I bet we don't get it. After all that, I bet we don't get the job. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Supporters spokesperson has laughed off Scott Dogg's interest in becoming the club's manager and indicated the search for the right person to take Grow forward must continue. Categorically dismiss Scott Dogg's interest in the job, stating the club should not be considering his application and will instead to continue to appraise other candidates for the post. Fuck you. Um, right, okay. Um, respond. Wayne Kelly, are you all concerned about being a little rusty when you do learn a job? Rusty, I've never done it before. Um, looking forward to getting stuck in when the time comes. I love that in every interview I only ask one question. It's like they've got a quota of questions they're allowed to ask. Can you imagine that article in the newspaper? There's literally just... Uh, I spoke to the to the unemployed Scott Dog. Uh, he said he might be a bit rusty end of end of column what what is that all about what news is that you must be a, a reporter on twitter right hello clayman i hope you're doing well those uh those icelandic fans are going to be really really grumpy when i get that job don't you worry i can't believe uh, more so than me potentially getting a job in iceland i can't believe that people are in for for carious what's that all about um okay young violets austria now we're talking uh we didn't get that one okay more people have been sacked that's what we like to see uh what is this what is this about what do we know about young violets of austria vienna i i don't know anything about them but i like what they are called and i like the color of their kit would you believe it's violet um okay let's Let's have a little look. What do we know about them? They've got one famous icon, Alexander Frank, the 27-year-old Austrian with no caps to his name. <laughs> okay, good. Um, they've got some some big name players over here. I like this. I have to say, I do like that this is now like a an area of... Uh, can I like scout people while I'm unemployed? I can't do like, can't do like getting knowledge about players or anything. Um, I think we have to. I think we have to go for this, right? Let's apply for the job over here, the young violets. I think that's a that seems like an excellent place to start our career, the young violets of Austria. Uh, what about you guys? What about you guys? Um, what do we know? So your your bottom of the league on on one point after five games you've conceded 10 goals wowza um i bet these played each other right i bet these guys played each other and got a draw against each other no no they didn't okay fine um i guess we you know what no i'm not going for both of them i'm interested in the young violets seems a bit weird saying that i'm interested in the young violets more than i am the the others any other jobs here that we're interested in? We applied for these ones, so um, I don't think we're getting any of these, but let's apply for one of these. Let's go for the uh, 
the Trellers Borg. They're pretty big, right? I feel like I, I feel like I know them. I've heard of them. Uh, but we'll we'll come and not apply for this. I think they've turned us down already. Uh, what about Bodo? Is it, are these known as Bodo, FK Bodo, or Glimped? Are they known as either of those two things? Uh, let's uh, view the advert and apply for it. Oh, that was it. Maybe I just went to the wrong thing with Trailsborg. Uh, no, I can't see the interview, or the, the application or anything over there. Uh, that's a bit weird. I can view the advert here. I must have applied for this one, right? And they've turned me down. That must be what happened. Um, what about Musa? You know, these are... I'd, I'd really like to get a job in an area where somebody's turned us down and then embarrassed those people for... For, for rejecting us. I don't handle it well. Um, right, let's move on. Let's move on and see if we uh, see if we can get any kind of job anywhere. It's all we care about. All we want to do is get working. You know, I think there's, a, there's an old saying that it's easier to find a job if you have a job, right? I, think, I don't know if that's a saying or not. But I think it's absolutely true. If you're already in employment... That goes a long way to finding your next job, I guess, because you're showing I've had a job for X period of time and so on and so forth. Um, it'd be nice if these came up in like the order that they've been added. Um, okay, let's continue. We've still got hopes on Grotto, right? Um, but actually, I think I'm really pinning my hopes on the Young Violets of Austria Vienna um, because what a place that would be to manage. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Come on, the young violets. Although that say that phrase does sound like I'm talking about something I shouldn't be. Um, so let's not say that again. <laughs> okay, we've almost been streaming for an hour now and we haven't found a club. Which is a little disappointing. We're basically just watching this screen go round and round and round. Okay. This is, I like the fact that this was meant to be Football Manager and it basically is just interview simulator for us. And, and getting rejected simulator, which I can do in real life. I don't need this. Right, okay. Um lots of insecure jobs over here. Most of them most of them in, in Scandinavia. Here we go. Skill Silgeborg is the uh, is the one for us. I'm gonna declare my interest in that job even though it's not available. Nice. Um Okay, there's looks like there's a fair few coming up, so we'll keep going. Uh respond. Uh, what was your reaction for being linked with this Silikborg job? Uh, it's an honor to even have my name associated with them at a club that I can't say the name of. Beautiful. Um, okay, let's have a look here. Following your recent interview, I invite you to suggest any changes you'd like to make to the Grotta backroom staff setup. Uh, you'll enjoy the freedom of altering the contracts or dispensing with the services of any current staff. Holy crap. Uh, have already proved, uh, provided information on the roles and duties they are prepared to carry out. Um, so I guess I need to go and look at the staff is probably the first step. Let's get rid of the chairperson. We've got a managing director and two directors, caretaker manager, head of youth development, an Englishman. Okay, we might need to keep you around just simply because of, you know, we need someone to talk to. Uh, goalkeeping coach terrible i don't know if we can get better than that so i think we get rid of the goalkeeping coach fitness coach woeful okay good just a coach coach terrible okay chief doctor you better be good at doctoring doctor we can't do anything with you a uh, head physio terrible okay Okay, let's go back and suggest some changes. Um, can I get rid of... How do I get rid of you? No, we don't want you. 
Get out of here. We don't want you. Get out of here. We don't want you. Did I did I look at you? Yeah, you're not you're not great. I don't genuinely don't know if we can get anyone better. But let's get rid of these two as well. We're having wholesale changes. You know what, Chris, you're out. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What's happening? Why can't I? We've got to pay a lot of compensation. Let's keep you around. Um because we've got to pay a lot of compensation for you. The rest I think we get rid of. Although it's gonna leave us no budget. You know what? Fine. We're doing it. Sorry, Grotta. I know that's a lot of changes, but I I looked, you know, I went in saying we don't need to make a huge amount of changes, and then I got there and realized they're all crap. Then, you know, they're all better than me, mind you. But we need some changes. We need changes around here. Um Okay, so we're open to the speculation of, of that job like that. Uh, we didn't get the, the trails ball job. Young Violet's interview. Now we're talking. Uh, it's great to be here. Let's get started. Um, how would you overcome the red to be obstacle and not being a speaker? Um, I can learn the language in time. Uh, you're up for a few jobs right now. You're hedging your bets. Just trying to forge ahead with my career by any means necessary. Are you willing to assure us that you do a better job? I can promise you I can do that job. Uh, we'd like to share our vision with you. Sign players under the age of 23. Do not sign players over the age of 30. Develop players using the club's, club's youth system. Is it any good? Play entertaining football. Develop players for the main club. Uh, give playing time to first team players. Well, I mean, that's surely what I'd do. Uh, happy to work with those proposals. We're excited. We're not expecting any of, of sorry, not expecting anything of you this season. Uh, we'll discuss. That's fine. Okay. Uh, pro proposed wage budget of 15,000. I'll be happy to work in within that. That draws things to a close. Yeah. Give me the job, please. Violets. You know what? If it comes to it, I am going to delay on the, uh, the grotto job. If it comes to it, I am going to delay on that job because I want the, uh, the Vienna one. If I'm really honest, I hope you don't mind grotto. Um, they said to you, they'll be in touch in the next week. Yeah, we'll just keep them on. We'll keep them on the edge because my personal preference is Austria um, over Grotto, which I know sounds a bit silly, but, um, you know, who doesn't like going into to Grotto? Um, but Austria and more so the, the young Violets of Austria is just a fantastic club. You know, I love everything about them, including their name. In fact, only their name. Um, and that's what I that's what I want. I want to be in Austria managing the Austrian club, avoiding relegation with the Austrian club, and I'm really FC Juniors. Why am I only interested in clubs with, with names that have other connotations? Why is it all Austrian clubs? All they talk about is, is juniors and youngs. What's that all about? FC Juniors are bottom of the league. All of us are bottom of the league on two points, these clubs that have sacked their, their managers. Okay, interesting. We'll hold off. Austria Violets is still our still our preference um here we go here we go this is what we wanted you know what i'm happy with anything you want to offer me 500 pounds a week absolutely take that um you know what let's do it finalize the deal exit talks we are in i think right surely we've just got that job now right sorry about that uh, surely here we go look at us Look at us go. Look how violet we are. Um, young Violets of Austria have today confirmed the appointment of Scott Dogg as the club's new manager. Eyebrows have been raised in the world of football as the appointment of the 40-year-old. Ouch. I just read that out loud. Who recently spent time away from the club. He is sure to face plenty of questions. And he faces the media the first time at Franz Hall stayed steady on. Uh, his first game in charge will be against uh, SKU Amstetten in the first division on the 10th of the 9th, 21. Uh, he replaces the previous manager, Harold Schuchard. Um, Martin Loverick was considered a favourite of the job and it's unclear whether the club favoured Dog all along. Dog rejected uh, the offer from Grotta. Look how popular I was. Uh, young Violets Austria are on a run of six league games without a win and find themselves off the pace in 14th place in the first division. Young Violets of Austria have lost four of their last five games in the league. Big job for us, I have to say, and we've finally got it. And we are ready, 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 ready to go, right? We're ready to get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, you have been watching Scott Dog Gaming. Don't forget to follow on Twitch and Twitter and head over to YouTube 
for daily content. See you again soon.